Okay, so this video is on occupational therapy and um, this was the first time that I took occupational therapy and I took it, it's been about a year since I've taken it and I didn't really have any idea what it was going to be like but it was really um, beneficial to me because it kind of, um, she went through like an analysis and basically helped me with everyday things that I was having a hard time with. The first thing she helped me with was with the medication schedule because um, the medication that we take, and I take Cinemat, can be kind of tricky. Um, so with the Cinemat, I currently take it th three times. No, not three times. I currently take it like every three hours. And I take, sometimes I take two tablets, sometimes I take one and a half. But the tricky part of the medicine is that I have to make sure that I avoid eating and or protein an hour, at least an hour before or an hour after the meds. So if I'm taking the meds every three hours, there's not many times that I can actually eat. If I do eat something and take the meds, they don't work for me anyway. And they definitely don't work, at least the cinnamon does not work with protein. And the other meds are kind of different, so you might not have that rule. So I was having a hard time knowing when to eat, so she did help me like physically write down a schedule. Now I don't need that schedule because I'm so used to the times that I can do it automatically. Another thing she helped me with was that I um, suffer from fatigue, so she kind of explained how to save energy. And what I find with the Parkinson's is that you can complete like something physical, but it's like the everyday things, at least in my case, that take the most effort and drain me physically. And I don't know why, but I su suppose it's because with the lack of dopamine that we have that causes the Parkinson's and the problem with the initiated movements, maybe the um, maybe that's it with the everyday things that are kind of seem kind of casual. It's, it's that they still require a lot of energy as far as initiating movement. But back to the kitchen, so she um, gave me some guidelines um, as far as like reorganizing things. So she said not to um, not to put things that I was going to use a lot like plates on the upper cupboards because I was having trouble even like removing a plate um, high up. So I rearranged everything at the lower levels and then she um, also told me to collect everything like like when I had a recipe to do she told me to use a cart and go around the kitchen and load all those things in the cart and then take the cart to the table rather than making trips back and forth opening the refrigerator back and forth that doesn't seem like a big deal but if you have like a Parkinson's chronic fatigue all those little trips up and down are um, things that are wasting energy and although you can do that I'd rather keep my energy for different things throughout the day. Other things she helped me with were like dressing tips um, and I'm going to go through that in another video. Um, so it was really a lot of practical things. Also she taught me how to rearrange my bathroom to save energy. Um, she suggested that when I like, um, not so much when I dress but like when I put on makeup or something like that or style my hair that I sit in a chair and again I don't necessarily have to do that but it saves me energy because I only have a certain amount of energy so I really pick and choose what I spend that energy on. Okay so I would str strongly recommend that you go to occupational therapy if you have a chance to do that and they can help you with a wide variety of things. Um, a lot of things, especially when you're young, I didn't expect them to help me with more practical things like how to go out with my friends and problems I was having socializing and things like that. So
So that's it for the occupational therapy segment. If you have been to an occupational therapist and it's helped you or hasn't helped you, please leave a message in the comment box for us to see. Thank you.